What is going on, Pats Nation? It's Patriots Global here back with another video. And in this one, the New England Patriots are continuing to make signings here in the first day of the legal tampering period and the first day of free agency. I do want to remind you guys, though, that none of these moves are official until Wednesday, which is really the, the new start of the league year. Um, but I don't expect any of these guys to back out of their contracts or end up not signing with the Patriots. So essentially, these guys are New England Patriots, but something I do just want to remind you guys of. Before we start this video, I will remind you guys, if you aren't subscribed to the channel, to subscribe for all of your New England Patriots news. I already covered the Johnny Smith signing. I will be covering all of the news, the rumors, the signings, the trades for the New England Patriots. We have the draft next month. You're not going to want to miss anything. Make sure you turn on the bell notification. I'm going to be popping these videos out as soon as I possibly can once the news drops. You guys are want to get notified, so just hit that bell notification also while you're at it. Of course, just like last year, I'm also going to be making a playlist specifically for the Patriots 2021 signings so that if you want to go back and see, you know, videos and information on all the guys that the Patriots signed to this offseason, you can do so. But this time, the New England Patriots are making some moves here on the defensive side of the football, signing defensive tackle Devon Godshaw to a two-year, $16 million contract that's going to bring him $9 million guaranteed. He's 26, so he is still young. He isn't someone who you have to worry about being 30, and is he still going to be able to make a difference? He is still in his prime. By the time his contract is up, he'll be about 28 years old, 29. And he's going to bring much needed depth for the New England Patriots, and he's going to bring some youth to the New England Patriots at the defensive tackle position. Now, do I think that he's going to be the end-all be-all for the Patriots defensive line and defensive tackle? No, <laughs> the Patriots are still going to have to make other moves on the defensive line. Um, but if he is going to be, you know, not the number one guy, uh, then I do like the signing. I've heard some mixed feelings here on the contract that the Patriots maybe pushed a little bit, maybe gave him a little bit too much money. I mean, $16 million for two years, it's averaging about eight million dollars nine million dollars guaranteed though that 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 was a bit of a surprise to me but from what i'm understanding that eight million dollars is a bit market value for him uh but i i do think it was slightly overpaid to grab him now the big thing here is the Patriots are getting a divisional rival. You gotta love the fact that the Patriots are grabbing a divisional rival. This happens to New England every single year. And it seems like Miami over the last couple years have been the main team to do so. So the fact that we're grabbing one of their, one of their players is uh, it's, it's a bittersweet feeling without the bitter. Now, Godshall isn't someone who's going to come in and be a Adam Butler type role. He really is not much of a pass rusher. He doesn't have the lower body maneuverment. He doesn't really have quick feet and his hand placement definitely is not there. He has the ability to be a pass rusher, but it's not really anything special. He's not someone who's going to put up five 10, 15 sacks in a season. His main purpose is going to be run stuffing and run stopping. That is what he has done over his past four seasons with the Dolphins. That is what he's been primarily used as. And that's the value that Patriots are going to get him for. I understand that a lot of people are probably going to want more of an all around defensive tackle. Now, for the Patriots here, he is also going to bring some versatility. Now, I mainly do expect New England to use him as a defensive tackle, as a run stopper, but he does have the ability to play at defensive end. I do think that if the Patriots want him to succeed a little bit more as a pass rusher, then defensive end is going to be easier for him. As a defensive tackle, you don't see too much pure defensive tackles that are pass rushers. That's why keeping Adam Butler, in my opinion, is so uh, important because it's much harder to get pressure within the interior of the defensive line than it is on the edge. I do expect him, though, to really stay at that defensive tackle position for the majority of the time. Of course, you'll see him at defensive end uh, from time to time, I'm sure. But the Patriots were one of the worst teams this past season at stopping the run. 
Running backs were able to run all over New England. They were able to close out games, and it's a big reason why the New England Patriots weren't able to win games. You know, a lot of people want to say it's the offense, and while it definitely was, the big problem with the team was that they couldn't stop the run. If you can have a successful run game, your chances of winning that game go up drastically. That's just NFL 101. This is something that has worried me with the Patriots over the last few seasons with stopping the run, and last year became extremely evident. From what we heard, the New England Patriots were going to try to upgrade the defensive line aggressively, and they are definitely trying to do so uh, in, in day one with signing Godshaw. Something that we're going to have to monitor, though, is that um, he he did suffer a bicep tear to the end of his 2020 season, which was just this past year. He is expected to make a full recovery. But of course, when you're coming off a bicep tear uh, from just the season prior, it's always going to be something to watch. Will he be ready for the offseason programs? That is something to also watch. Now, his reaction to signing with the Patriots was pretty good. I mean, for, for people, air quote, not wanting to join the Patriots, he seems pretty excited to do so, and he seems excited to go to a division rival. You know, he tweeted once the news dropped that he was signing with the Patriots. He said, happy but never satisfied with two exclamation points, and then said, more work to do with like four exclamation points. And then after that, he tweeted LFG. Not a terrible size defensive tackle, but he's nothing crazy. Look, he's not going to be a Danny Shelton or a Lawrence guy or a Jonathan Hawkins. He's going to be, again, a, a decent sized guy. His big body isn't really what's going to plug up the middle. It's his technique and his ability to get through offensive linemen that really helps him stop the run at six foot three, two 248 pounds. Or I'm sorry, guys, I was looking at the wrong part. Uh, six foot three, 311 pounds. So it is a little bit better. Um, but again, it's, it's still not going to be a Lawrence guy or a, um, a Danny Shelton or Jonathan Hawkins or anything like that. He still is a decent build, uh, but his big size isn't really what helps him as a run stopper. It is his techniques and his ability to get off the line quickly and maneuver through these offensive linemen that really helps him tackle these, these running backs behind the line of scrimmage. This past season in 2020, he only appeared in five games, but he did start all of those games. He recorded zero sacks, 16 total tackles, one tackle for loss, and two quarterback hits. In 2019, he appeared in 16 games, starting all of them. He had one pass defended, two sacks, 75 total tackles, four tackles for loss, and seven quarterback hits. In 2018, he again appeared in all 16 games, starting in all of them, one sack, 48 tackles, Tackles, six tackles for loss and four quarterback hits so he only has three career um, sacks since 2017 when he came in and joined the league so again you can see that he isn't somebody that is going to tremendously get to the quarterback but does have the ability you can see that within the quarterback hits but his main purpose is going to be stopping the run you can't get mad the Patriots needed that desperately that is going to be it for today's video, though. What are your guys' thoughts on the Patriots signing Devon Godshaw to a two-year deal, former Miami Dolphin divisional rival? Let me know in the comment section below. Remember to give this video a big, big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for all of your New England Patriots news. Like always, I appreciate you guys for watching. I'll be updating you as these moves continue to come out, but I appreciate you guys for watching.